Howdy everybody. Uh, we're going to do something really cool today. It's a good use of bread. Uh, if you haven't seen it already, oh by the way, say hi Aaron. Hey there. <laughs> Aaron's filming as always. Uh, if you take a look at breadcrumbs in the store, you're going to see a list of ingredients that's like that long. And the reason why is because they have to put a bunch of preservatives and a bunch of stuff in there to hold those shape, you know, and hold its texture through time over the shelf. So, uh, I like to stay away from that stuff. It's toxic, you know, it builds up over time. So, uh, one of the ways that we like to have breadcrumbs is we just make them ourselves. We use Joe's sourdough, and the key here, first and foremost, is to get this sliced as thin as you can, all right, with your knife. I just happen to have a bread knife, and I keep this baby super sharp <laughs> and so i can come down here and cut a nice thin slice okay don't worry about these crumbs that's okay now you can leave these sit out and dry over time i'm horribly impatient when it comes to these things so i'm going to stick these in a 250 degree oven I'm not gonna check on them for 10 minutes, all right? Minutes, all right? Now, you can do them in a toaster, but you gotta be super careful. We're not looking to toast these, okay? We're just looking to pull the moisture out. Uh, toasting changes the flavor. It's a good flavor, but it, 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 the toasting really adds this like it, it doesn't pull all the moisture out you know and if you pull all the moisture out in a toaster you're gonna burn it it's gonna taste terrible really all we're looking to do is dry these out so we can pound them later so i'm gonna stick these in the oven we're gonna check back in about 10 minutes and see where we're at uh and i'll let you know how they're shaping up all right it has been 25 minutes in the oven at 250 and I've been checking on them, and there's still a ways to go. So I'm just going to give you, and no, it's not that hot. So I'm just going to give you just, you can see that it's, it's crisping up, okay? But you can feel there's still moisture inside of there. You're going to want that baby to snap in half, okay? You're just going to want it to go and break. So we're going to stick them back in there. I got some other things to do. We'll check back probably in about 10 or 15 minutes. All right, we are 30 minutes and I pulled these out. If you wanna dry them out longer, that's up to you, but you know, that's a good crisp, okay? We're ready to go. Now, about grinding these up, you can try to pound these. I'm telling you, it's a pain, okay? I'm gonna use my Cuisinart Spice Grinder, all right? And I highly recommend any kitchen have these, this tool right here. I use it literally every day. I grind my coffee in it every morning. I'll wipe that out and I can throw some rosemary and thyme and sage in there and grind that up and mix that in with my omelet. This is like a $30 tool. There's spice grinders out there that are like $100. You don't need that. 30 bucks is perfect. I bought two of them in case this one breaks. The other thing is if you don't have that and you want it right now, okay, a, a full-on Cuisinart will work, but for me, look at all these parts to clean and put away. I, I'm about simple, I'm about quick, and I'm going to do my spice grinder. So what we'll do is I'm just going to break those up into pieces like that. And the thing about this is you're gonna do several batches, all right? It's not gonna all happen in once. I'm gonna kind of pulse it until, there it goes. You might have seen it dances with wolves when he's grinding the coffee. <laughs> Okay, so this is the consistency that you're looking for. Let's come over here and take a look. See there? That's what you're looking for. You can't get that by pounding it. It's, you have to grind it 
this spice grinder works fantastically. So as far as breadcrumbs go, if you want, one thing about storing these, I always make breadcrumbs to order. So for a recipe, I just kind of plan. I'm not spending a lot of time, you know, 20 minutes or 40 minutes uh, when they're in the oven. I'm doing other things, all right? So once they're done, I'll grind them up and, you know, use them. If you're going to plan on storing them, it's difficult because these will start reabsorbing moisture and they'll start caking and moths love this. And there's no preservatives in this Joe's sourdough bread. So you could stand a chance of getting some mold and stuff. So I highly recommend that you make your breadcrumbs to order. They're fresh, they're easy, and the flavor that it adds is phenomenal. Bam, 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 bam. So I really hope you enjoy. Say goodbye, Aaron. We'll see ya. All right, take care.